Hey folks, Phil the Bee Man here. Uh, we're doing some uh, hive evaluations today, getting ready for our queen production. And so I thought I'd show you, I got a hive here marked as a potential breeder. These hives were all wintered as singles and some of them I have added as a box underneath. I think that was about 10 days ago, maybe as much as two weeks ago. So I'm curious to see what they've done with that. See if this hive lives up to its reputation as a as a real doer. So I see lots of that, that pollen patty was put in. Oh, I think uh, six days ago, and they're really getting into it. Not much left. I'm gonna lift the whole top box off. We know there's lots of brood in there. Let's see what they've done in the, in the new box. It's pretty cool today. It's only, I think it's supposed to get up to about 12 or 13, but it's probably only five or six right now and it's been real cold overnight uh, basically since we put this box on they're still really getting into it no brood there you got uh, larvae here capped, capped brood here It'll tend to be on the top half of the box. Because that's that cluster is coming down into this box. And it hasn't come down perfectly symmetrically. It's a little bit, uh, maybe even on the warm, sunny side of the hive. Some caps. So they got into this, I mean, I, I with cap brood in here, they basically got into that box pretty much as soon as I put it under there uh, to have cap brood. It didn't take, uh, there was no sort of thinking about it. They started, that queen got down in there within a couple of days. They're nice looking bees, not too, um, they don't like to run around on the frame too much. Uh, nothing's too, well, I guess we'd have to look at the, to evaluate things like how much they propolize up and so on. We have to look into the box that's, that they've been into a while. Fresh pollen stored. We'll see any eggs there yet. Eggs on that side. So they've made, she's made, this much brood, basically a nuke, since I put that box in there. Let's just look at this top box to see what we're dealing with here. Probably the brood will be a bit more on this side just to match what we saw there. So I'm going to dig up the frame out of this side here. fresh uh, stored syrup that we've been giving them. Just a little bit of drone brood on this one, just a couple cells. My guess is 
the brutal start here. Very nice. I see lots of eggs and uh, larvae and little pools of jelly and that basically that whole frame. Beautiful. That, imagine when all those, all that brood hatches, how they're going to really move into that bottom box. They'll be. Uh, they'll be ready for splitting or something very shortly. Be nice to get a quick look at the queen just to see. Oh, there she is. Right there, marked red queen. I have a tag. It does, but it wouldn't expect it to have a red queen. What's up with that? Hmm. I'll have to check my records a little bit on that. But she's sure beauty. Nice dark. She's darker. Okay. Nice size. Looks pretty agile. So I'd have no, I'd have to check our pedigree a little bit more because the queen and the tag don't agree for some reason. Should be a U.S. green queen from 2019. And somehow she's a red queen. I don't know what the story is there. Just to balance this thing up a bit more, I'm going to put that last frame on this wall. That'll move that brood cluster a bit more to the center. So, I have a little bit of a story myself on the lid here. That's a red queen, question mark. It was marked as a promising high. Let's compare that to the regular single. So this one, last time we were here, we didn't think it was quite as impressive because we didn't give it a block. It's used all its syrup. Well, not too much wrong with that size. Getting into these things on a cold day is always the hardest part. The wax is so stiff you've got to pry and pry to get a frame loose. Jiggle that frame back and forth so the bees don't get crushed as you pull it out. Brood on the very next frame. Young. That frame is probably already hatched out and is relayed. So brood from here. Let's see how far over it goes.
looks like a broken frame. Lots of brood here. So we got, notice that that frame had lots of brood on it. This mm -hmm. one doesn't yet. We should look a little closer. No, they, they sure got a, they've got this area here where there's not covered with bees really polished up. The workers have got that ready for the queen, but she hasn't got there yet. But that'll be the next place she gets to. So there's five frames of brood in this hive in what is pretty much a full box of bees. This hive that we thought was better probably has six or seven frames of brood. That doesn't seem like a huge difference, but that's when you're selecting queens to breed from that, you know, marginal difference, one extra frame of brood, you could get that in every colony at this time of year. That would be a big difference in your in your honey production come summertime. Okay, we'll keep going, we'll look at uh, at this one here. I got skunks bothering this yard a little bit. They pull the guards out. You can see all the, the way the grass is uh, kind of raked there and there's partial carcasses of bees. That's skunk damage, in, uh, in, at least in this part of the world. We have some traps out. Hopefully we can get those skunks sorted out. It's another one that was given a second box. Pretty good looking hive. So, just looking down between the frames, I can see brood from here here. So it's about the same strength on top as that one. Let's see if it got into the bottom much. This queen should be a blue one from last year. This one isn't as into this bottom box nearly as much. They're just keeping the, the top section of this going. Pretty darn good looking hive, but they, they're just not, you know, quite having the bee population to warm two boxes. That's why I like to put that box on the bottom. It's there if they need it. If they can't keep it warm, there's no sense chilling the hive over it. Obviously, they're really making heyday with this box here. We'll do one more, finish the pallet off. Lots of bee books will tell you I'll take the outside frame first, but I take the easiest one first. Sometimes that's an outside one. Well, this one's got brood on it. I should really be pulling that out very slow. 
So I'm gonna very leave that there very quickly. Get a honey frame out so I don't chill that brew by leaving it out the hive. You can see how this hive has has nothing to lose by being left outside. Nice fresh pollen. I can't believe there's fresh pollen in these hives. They've been. <laughs> Since the last time we were here, I think we've had two snowstorms and a blizzard. So, and overnight lows of, you know, minus 10, minus 15. Uh, these are pretty tough girls. And somehow they snuck out between all of that to uh, find a little bit of pollen. Man, that's just something to appreciate. They probably only started foraging after, since it's it's uh, Thursday today. They were probably last flying last Saturday. It was a beautiful day then, and I guess whatever pollen they brought in has carried them through. This hive's a little jumpier. Feel the odd one brushing past my mustache. So that would disqualify this one as a breeder. But it's just a little under strength. So I, I got brood on here. Cat brood, young brood. So we got brood. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a darn good hive, actually. So <laughs> we're, we're trying to figure out our plan for the summer. But uh, the availability of queens is maybe a bit up in the air because of transportation. Uh, I'm going to rely even more than usual on my own. And the uh, problem is I can't get my own queens until, well, May 20th is probably pretty optimistic. So, probably May 25th. That's a month away yet. Holding these girls till then is going to be a real challenge. We'll just have to split the strongest ones as, they, as we can as queens become available. Mm -hmm. Add boxes to the rest. Anyway, things look pretty good. So, picking a queen to, to uh, as a breeder, just a marge, just, just a few percent better, is uh, is the name of the game. And by doing that, year after year after year, you hope to have better stock. That's it, everyone. Have a great day.